summer is here, the beer is flowing, the money's starting to flow, and now the rumours are starting to fly around. In today's video, we're going to have a look at exactly what the rumours are for Luton Town, who potentially is coming in, who they are, and a little bit all about it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please smash that like button and drop us a subscription for more Premier League content, and especially Luton Town coming into the Premier League season. The first on the list is Alex Scott. Alex is a 19-year-old central midfielder. He's valued by Bristol City at high 20 million. They really value him and they want to keep him. He's meant to be this next star in the making. So the interesting to see, it was uh, sensational for Bristol City this year, playing 49 games, two goals and five assists. They really, really want to keep him. But Burnley and Sheffield United are also keen and interested. I think with that value of 20 million, though, Luton are not going to spend anywhere near that. So Alex Scott... Would be a potential good signing, but I think he's way out of our market. Next on the list is Peter Musa. He is a Croatian international. He's valued around the 5 million by transfer market. His age is 25 and he's a striker. We apparently reportedly had a bid rejected from Benfica, where he currently plays. He played 41 games, including five Champions League games. He scored 11 goals with two assists. And he's also got two international games under his belt for Croatia. Reportedly, one goal every 92 minutes in the La Liga in Portugal. So, real talent of a striker. He might be a brilliant signing for us to go alongside Morris and Adebayo. If we do get him in, does that mean we may have a rotation or see Joe Taylor out of the side on loan? Or will we have Joe Taylor and Corley Woodrow also feature on the bench as a rotational be really interesting to see with five strikers. Next on the list is Chizozi Ogbeni, if I can say that right. He's an Irish international from originally Nigeria. He's valued around 2 million on transfer market, but is a free transfer. He's just left Rotherham United in Championship. He played 42 games for them, nine goals and four assists. He's also got 14 international appearances under his belt with four goals. He is a right winger and he's 26 years of age. Lots of interest from a lots of other championship clubs as well. So real interesting to see where he may go. Out of the two people that we've just seen strikers, I think Musa would probably be the better target due to the fact that he is obviously more experienced in the higher leagues. However, a little bit lower value uh, than Musa. So it'd be interesting to see where that comes from. Next on the list is James MacArthur. Real interesting rumour this one because he is a free transfer from Crystal Palace. However, he's 35 years of age, but obviously a lot of Scottish international experience. He's a central midfielder as well. Um, I think he'll be really key to the experience of the core of the group and obviously putting down exactly what it's like. But he only played four appearances, I think 50 minutes overall for Crystal Palace last year. So he's not obviously got much game time. And will that hinder or will we find a better candidate? To come in obviously with more experience a lot younger and stuff like that i think probably money might be better spent elsewhere next on the list is mark travers he's valued around two million he's 24 years of old and he's a goalkeeper he's an irish international 15 appearances this year with 32 goals conceded and two clean sheets for bournemouth but unfortunately he was pushed to the bench by nito so it'll be really interesting to see whether he wants to stay on the bench or he'll potentially come to another club He's got three appearances for Ireland as well, but nothing since 2019. Uh, some good experience in the Premier League, but with a team that will be fighting to remain up, in my opinion, this year, will he be a better fit than what we had with Horvath? Obviously, Horvath was another one that was pushed down the list by Nottingham Forest. Out of the two, who would you say would be a better fit? Horvath, a lot of experience playing with Luton, so he'd fit right back in. Obviously, bringing in a new goalkeeper. He's got more Premier League experience, though, so it'd be really interesting to see who we get in. Now, Azmir Begovic, who's another one who's been linked with us. Valued at £1 million, but he is on a free transfer because he's just rejected a offer from Everton to remain there at the club. He's 35, Bosnian ex-international, second choice to Pickford all season. He's only made one appearance this year and one clean sheet. May want to see his career out by playing more games and not sitting on the bench. Would he fit at Luton? He's old, but he's very experienced and we need something like that against the back four now. So but would he be a brilliant target to come and play? I think I could probably see him in the side for his experience side of things and see how he gets on. But out of the three that we've got on offer here, Travers and Horvath, let me know in the comments who you would prefer to see. Now, a little bit of a stab in the dark, this one. Sam Anderson, 16 years of age. He's also a forward as well. He's currently in the Northern Ireland under-17 squad. He's from Gungan Swifts, 
and he made his first team appearance on the last game when they won 2-1. There's not too much that I know about this guy, but he has played the three international appearances for the under-17s this year in the European qualifiers. With the tr club's track record of brilliant recruitment, I think he'll be a world-quality player to see. Lots of online reports saying that he's already left and coming to Luton this year. So if we do see him, we'll be interested to see. He'll probably go back out on loan and he'll be one for the future. Now, one man that doesn't need any introduction, Marvellous Nakamba. Played with us last year, 20 appearances, was fantastic, vital to our promotion last year. He was a brilliant player. He was originally brought by Aston Villa for 10 million, but according to Transfer Market, he's valued around the 4 million mark now. He is 29 a really a very good defensive midfielder. Reports are Aston Villa are keen to secure a fee for him with only 12 months left on his contract and they're happy to see a permanent move to us. They are rumours at the moment though. I think it'll be a fantastic to see him back. The core players last year really relied around his experience, his quality as well. So it'd be amazing if we could try and secure that deal. And only 4 million as well. He would break our transfer uh, record. I think he'd be worth it as well. Now another one who doesn't need an introduction, Cody Drame. Fantastic again last year. Valued around the 3.5 million. Uh, lots of people interested in right now. I think Burnley was interested, was one of the targets as well. He's 21 years of old, as we know. A right back, 32 appearances with one goal and five assists for Luton last year. Did a fantastic role, as I say, in the promotion. I want to know in the comments, I've had a few people say this, but I'll be interested to know, who would you have taken more? Would you have trusted Brie or Cody Drame? Let me know in the comments. Just a complete controversial comment just there. But I'd be interested to know, who would you rather have had? But I thought it was fantastic. Again, some really good quality balls in. He was fast down the wing, and he's really still young, so he's going to improve. And if we can get him, he'd be a fantastic signing. Now, I have another player that I'm going to real struggle to pronounce here. Joel Latabuadiri, is it? Valued around 1 million, but a free agent. He's left Swansea City now. He's 23 years of age and he's a centre-back. 37 appearances, two goals, three assists last year for Swansea in the Championship. He had a little scuffle last year when he played at the Kenny versus Adebayo. And then Morris gave him a little shoulder barge. Uh, when he scored but we don't mind that as we know Tom Lockyer likes to be a little bit um, rough with the attackers and we that's what we want you know we want to get under the skins you don't want Erlen Haaland having a great time at the Kenny or etc you want someone to get behind him know he's there to uh, make sure that they're aware that they're at Fortress next year so you know a, a real potential that I can see and of course we know we need a centre back injuries that we had last year we're obviously having to make shift sometimes to get in if we could really have a core person that would either come in and take over one of the spots or be that rotational player on the bench as well would be a fantastic signing. So especially being a free agent as well and he'd want to make that step up. So it'd be really interesting to see if he does make the uh, transfer in. Now the biggest rumour that really, really confused me was Andre Ayew. He's valued around 2.2 million but he's a free agent. He left Nottingham Forest this year. Um, he's 33, he's a left winger. He's got 13 appearances in the Premier League for Forest this year. I'm not sure where the rumours come from, but I, I really can't see him fitting into our style, character, philosophy of the club. I know it was always a nuisance when he played for Swansea at, at Luton. I believe he even scored when we had the 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we were 3-0 up at half-time and we drew 3-3. Three, three. I think I remember him scoring in that, but I may be wrong. But yeah, I don't know where that rumour's come from, but I can't see it being true. Let me know in the comments what you thought, but I don't think it's going to be true. Now, a really weird rumour that came out today that I was surprised about was Tahith Chong, who is uh, from Birmingham City. He's 23 years of age, a right winger. A lot of you for Luton fans may remember him from the 5-0 smashing that we had at our place. He run the park completely and he was dominant. He originally came from Man United. They brought him back in September 2022. He's current valued around the 3.2 million mark. He's played 38 appearances in the championship this year for Birmingham. And he's had four goals and five assists. The only way I can describe him as a type of player is a bit like a Jordan Clark. But he'll just roam free. He'll, he'll have the full reign behind the front line. And you get the ball, he'll pass it, he'll run with it, he'll, go, he'll take on anyone. He was a fantastic player when he played against Luton. So it's a real weird signing, but you know, one that may end up doing a good job. But would he fit into the type of uh, character like like the Andre Ayew situation? Would he fit into our style? Now last, Keenan Dewsbury Hall. What a fantastic player he was at Luton when he was on loan. Sensational. You could tell the, the talent that he had and the future ability that he was going to provide to Leicester. Obviously, Leicester have now gone down to the championship this year. I can't see him staying 
in the championship. He's too good of a player for that. I think there's some rumours that a top six club may be trying to get after him. He's valued at 25 million on transfer market. Way, way, way out of our budget. I can't see Luton this year spending more than 5 million. Our record signing was, I think, 1.81 million, which I believe was Morris. So I really can't see Luton scoring more than that. He did play 34 appearances for Leicester. He scored two goals and had two assists. Central midfielder, as we know, um, it's got a brilliant ping on the ball, brilliant quality from set pieces as well. It'd be amazing if we could get hold of him, but I can't see uh, Leicester selling them to us for a low fee, let alone obviously coming back on loan, which it, that won't happen. I think our only real chance of potentially getting him would be a top six club taking him and loaning him out. That, again, wouldn't make sense. Finally, Amari Bell is apparently set to sign a new long-term contract, which would be fantastic because he played 44 games, one goal, one assist in his new adopted role at that back three. Was fantastic this year. Um, and another player that showed real quality of being able to move positions. And, you know, when, when we had another defender come on, he'd then, and we took off our left back, he'd then move up to the left wing and fly down the wing. So he was able to chop and change quite easily through his roles and a real asset to the club. So it'd be fantastic if he does sign that long-term contract. And again, another one of them core players that we had signed previously. And there you have it, guys. That is all of the transfer rumours that I've picked out that I believe are more credible. I know the AU one wasn't as much, but they're the rumours that Oak Road Hatter has also put out on his Twitter. So make sure you go follow him as well. I've got most of the rumours from his tweets and he's obviously got them from outside sources. Now, there's a lots of rumours going around, as I'm sure you can all imagine, so it's trying to pick out the best of the best ones. It seems like he's probably got a little bit more of an understanding of rumour to absolute fiction. So I've gone with him. So shout out to them. And we'll be doing a few more of these as they start to happen. And if any are confirmed, I will be doing a little video on each single one of them and their history of last few years as well. So if you did like today's video, please do us a like, a sub. And let us know in the comments exactly what your thoughts are, who you would like to see at Luton next year and what your thoughts on the new season coming up.